end of year two and kicks on today now into its 13th stop of the series and we find ourselves here at Murrayfield, the home of Scotland for today's match between Scotland and South Africa. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 in the end of year tour we will follow the fortunes of the Southern Hemisphere teams touring north to base their Northern Hemisphere counterparts and all sorts of glorious rugby matches today. At Murrayfield, we have Scotland and South Africa and the Scots at home in their second match of the series after going, oh, winning, sorry, 27-21 over Japan in their first match. They've made six changes from that day, mainly in the forwards with Dickinson, Gray, Hamilton and Barkley coming in to that forward pack and one change in the back line with Taylor. South Africa, on the other hand, have made just five changes since their 25 to 10 victory over Wales, mainly Steenkamp, Strauss, Boffer, and Lambie, and LaRue at the back. The changes South Africa have made since their victory. Today they'll be facing up against Scotland, and they'll be looking for their depth within their squad to help pull them through and get two wins on the trot here at Murrayfield. So the teams are all set to go here. Kickoff is imminent. And it's Lambie with the ball in his hand. And a heavy wind going across Murray Field today. Well, this evening almost, as the Scottish flags are, well, waving in a flurry as Lambie will kick us off on his left boot. Goes away to his forwards on the right hand side and it's beautifully taken too from Scotland. And they give it away nicely to Taylor, the new man in the team this week. And he goes through Release. a little half gap. Very quickly closed on him. And South Africa shut him down just short of halfway. They go away nicely to Jackson, who tried to force the kick, but he's lost it and been turned over. De Villiers will take it up through the midfield and a bit of a hit up as he does so well. Jean De Villiers, his Strauss, Alberts, good ball to Dupree. He just about got away, but a good chase on the Scottish defence, holding him back and turning him over as well. Not coming back for Strauss at all there. And then Ford Release. gets a carry off the back of the ruck. South Africa want this ball back, but they won't get it. Ladlaw captaining the team today. Goes very wide. Straight out for Seymour, who gets through one tackle. Can't get through a second. And how is he not out? And how has he retained that position? Back it goes again. Nicely for Jackson. Kicking deep. Fullback out of action. But JP Peterson, an adequate fullback in his own right. Goes back and cleans it up. Oh, but gives it straight to De Luca. Chance for Scotland. Kick across field. And Habana will let that dribble into touch. Seymour was racing up on it. Couldn't get it. And what a start there for Scotland. Finding that turnover intercept. And what a little grubber kick that was too. Into that corner. Putting the pressure on the South Africans. 12 minutes gone, it's a 22 dropout. Down it goes for Lambie. Oh, good kick to Scotland, letting it settle. As Ladlaw gets monstered in the tackle. Scotland spreading it wide, looking to use the width of the field. DeLuca going all the way to Seymour, who gets hammered into touch from Havana. And shuts that movement down very quickly. Now South Africa, just outside the 22. It's a line out for Strauss. He goes, oh, we looked at the back for Alberts, but it's been stolen nicely from Barkley. They maul it forward, Scotland. South Africa try to put it into touch, but it's come away for Strokoch. He tries to go through the middle of the forward pack. Can't get through there at all. Nicely to Luca. Short ball going nowhere. Release. Hammered by the South African defence. And maybe turned over as well. It is Steenkamp. De Villiers, massive gap for De Villiers. Going through the middle. Trying to bump his way through the defence. Gets inside the 22. Support coming to Prayer. Big pass out to the left. Faree goes wide. A still for Habana. Habana stepping, jinking. Oh, he's messed that up. He could have gone into the corner. Tried to get closer to the sticks. In the end, he's going to struggle to keep it. But he does. It comes back for Boffer to the Villiers again. Trying to force his way into the line and turnover from Scotland. Taylor has been very well played today already in this match and has gone back to LaRue. 
Lambie, Lambie straightens things up and gets hammered. Oh, punishing hit on Lambie. And Scotland are all over the top of him. And turn him over on halfway. So good play there from Scotland. Lamont giving it away to Jackson, who goes through a couple of tackles. Alberts turns him over. And Habana gets the pass. Botha, good ball to Fouri. Now here we go, Fouri. Trying to jink his way through. Nice ball out the back to Strauss. And there was a try, just begging to be scored. Jackson goes back and cleans up for Scotland. And in the end, kicks it away. Advantage over. Advantage is over. LaRue. Oh, good tackle on LaRue. Peterson as well gets hammered from Dickinson. It's all South Africa though. Lambie, De Villiers, intercepted pass. And Scotland are living off scraps here. Very well too. Away goes to Lamont. He gets smashed on the left side Release. all by himself. South Africa try piling over him, can't get away. Advantage. Oh, advantage from Mullen offside. Over. But look at Dickinson. Through five tackles he goes, gives it to Ford. All the big men involved for Scotland. They go to ground now outside the 22. Ladlaw goes to the left side. Ford, nice ball out the back. Jackson looking wide for Lamont, who's been hit high. Tackle from Dupreer. I think there might be Fury Dupreer who might be in the bin here. And there's a change too. Keller coming off for Hamilton. Interesting change there early on in the match for Scotland. But a yellow card nonetheless. And Jackson is making an odd call here. The captain is halfback Ladlaw. And he's gone for the corner. Hopefully, for the sake of Scotland, they won't live to regret that decision. Ford has a line out. They're about 15 metres in the, from the line. He goes to the middle, nicely taken from Hamilton. Oh, now it's Killock that's actually on the field now, isn't it? He just got taken off. Hamilton, again, South Africa, try force it wide. It's picked up, and away they go. Cutting back inside, close to the line. Nearly a try for Scotland. Release. Definitely having their fair share of attack now. Ladlaw goes himself and gets hammered backwards. Surely turnover ball here, South Africa. Buzz is gone for half time. Steenkamp, Faree, short ball, going wide. Vandermeer passes out to Habana. Now there's trouble for Scotland. De Villiers on the Habana pass. It's a foot race between Taylor and De Villiers. But he went too much of a head start for South Africa. And Jean de Villiers scores the first try in the 44th minute. Completely against the run of play. But that is just what South Africa do to you. It was Brian Habana who started it all. And Jean de Villiers, the veteran. The man of so much talent. Such a cool calm head. Jean de Villiers, you cannot put that past him. Spectacular play. He had a good 80 metres to cover there. And the youngster Taylor was on his shoulder all the way, but just couldn't get close enough to put the tackle in. And the captain, De Villiers, puts South Africa in the lead as we will head to half time after this kick. The buzzer went well, just as South Africa got the ball. Here's Lambie's attempt at goal. Oh, he's misjudged that completely. Lambie. And it has gone very wide, taken away by the wind. And South Africa's lead will just be 5 to 0 at half time. Scotland will be somewhat disappointed to come out of that with no points, let alone trailing. Despite making even those changes, which is kind of odd. Not happy with their lineup. And how things are going, obviously, Scotland. So half time, 5 0. South Africa lead here at Murrayfield, but Scotland have had plenty of opportunities. Possession is almost even. Territory, though, heavily in favour of the South Africans. The yellow card will not please them with Dupree going off for 10 minutes. He'll be back in the second half. But handing errors, 4 0. Very good from Scotland. And they have played themselves, well, not into this match, but they've kept themselves in it by playing up to the standard of South Africa at the moment. One piece of Habana and de Villiers brilliance is all that to divide these two teams at the break. Here at Murrayfield, let's crack down the second half of this 13th stop on the end of year Northern Hemisphere Tour. Second half action about to kick off. Let's get back down to it. 
interesting stat, well not stat, but interesting thing about these end of year tours is the home team. They're often playing in away kits to save clashes and South Africa get the ball from the kickoff and Peterson and Fourie combine nicely. A dodgy old ball, De Villiers has to pick it up on the bounce and it makes good fist of it, De Villiers too. Going forward, here's Botha, giving it to Lowe. Big pass wide for De Prea, who's back on the field. Not the best pass, but Habana again, picking it up on the bounce. Away to Furi. there's a man in the background who's very slow to his feet for South Africa. Peterson, Peterson breaks the line, looks to step, can't get past, a good tackle from Maitland. And he shuts that down, De Prea now, he's back on his feet. He was the one who was slow to get up. Habana, Furi, Van der Meer, out wide. Tries to use his strength to go past the man against him. It looked like it was Jackson. South Africa piling on the pressure early here. It's an offside penalty. They're still going to run it here, South Africa. Away it goes to Peterson. Where's he going to go this time? He tries to get past Maitland. He can't do it. Maitland having Peterson's number here today. Furi, Vermeulen. Van der Muur, Lambie, has to be a try here. De Villiers, this time, gives it off for Habana. And De Villiers and Habana combine for the second time in the match. Giving South Africa try number two. Brian Habana. This time on the receiving end. Good passage of play here from South Africa. Dominating all facets of the match and eventually wearing down the Scottish defence and finding the holes. They were just too disjointed for too long. And Lambie, big ball over the top to De Villiers. And with Habana at his side, always going to finish that job off. And South Africa double their lead, now 10 to nil. And a chance for Patrick Lambie. If he can nail his kick to make it 12. The wind now swapping sides. Favouring neither side as Lambie slots his kick. Makes it 12-0. South Africa. Well, they're, they're well in front here. And they're doing this rather easily. Scotland had a little passage where they looked like they might get into the match. But since that turnover, that try right on half time, it's really dampened their spirits. They've kicked off here, and it's nicely taken from DeLuca, giving it off to Jackson. And now, well, just as I say Please. that, the Scottish are coming back into this match nicely. Slow ball for them, though. Now they go wide for Taylor, pops it off the top. Oh, it was just about a big chance there for Scotland. The knock on. Going wide for Seymour. He was glaring at the tackle that he was Crouch. about to receive from Habana. And didn't do the basics, Six. didn't catch the ball. Well, that's a big ruined chance for Scotland. Scrum packs down. De Freer puts it in. And the uh, South Africa forward pack get into their work here. Big ball out wide for Furi. He's looking to slot in between the little gap. Gets the two defenders brilliantly and frees Peterson. He chips ahead for Faree. Oh, everyone goes up and they all missed it. In the end, De Villiers making Release. the big tackle on Maitland going back. And look at South Africa turning him over instantly. Strauss, good ball. Van der Meer. Oh, there's a big man out here. It's Mahalbury. He's all by himself. Habana stepping, stepping for the corner. Habana, what a try for South Africa. Oh, that is the skill of Brian Habana. Too easy, past the fullback, Maitland. But what a run there from Mahalbury. And then the step, the jink and jive, and then in the midst of two or three tackles from DeLuca and Ladlaw. Puts it down brilliantly. The big prop running through the tackles running up the yards but what a try from Habana he has looked at his very best here today and South Africa are really easing to victory 17-0 they lead and they've just warmed into their work as this match has worn on Lambie to make it 19 here's his kick oh and that's beautifully struck from Lambie 
And 19-0, South Africa dominating the second half. Jackson back at halfway. Kicking off to the left side, looking for some support from his backs. And it's brilliantly claimed again for Scotland. Ladlock tries to go himself, gets hammered. Brilliant. South Africa look to turn it over, can't get it through this time. Jackson, oh, he's picked up and dumped on his back from the rear. Oh, and it's going to be Beatty who's got an injury. Oh, and that is a uh, substitute getting injured. So Evans coming on for Beatty, and that front forward pack will be all sorts of a mess. Scotland using the bench. Well, Crouch. the squads were exact Touch. as they ran out, but Scotland are um, forcing their hand with the bench at the moment. Scrum packs down following the injury. And it's a very hotly contested scrum, this. Oh, Scotland put in a big shove at the end and claimed that ball. Now, Jackson going wide, very fast. Habana again on Seymour. This time, oh, brilliant tackle from Habana. Seymour just had no chance. He knocked it on earlier, just expecting the punishing hit from Habana. This time he caught it, had a bit of a twinkle run, and then got hammered. Now, Alberts in midfield, Lambie, De Villiers, what are they playing at here, South Africa? Fariz in space, Peterson this time. He puts it on his boot. Oh, he puts it very high. He's the only one within meters of the ball. Oh, and looking for De Villiers. He's given it straight Release. to the Scottish player. Running backwards. Ladlaw's given it up for Dickinson. Good ball to Jackson in the tackle of Vermeulen. And Jackson is mauled forward by the South Africans. Going backwards, Scotland. Another maul here. South Africa keen to keep them off the ground. Here's Ford. Going the short side. Good ball too for Lamont. But he can't get through. So little room for him to play with. Ledlaw going short. Strokosh going to Jackson, who has been strong with the ball in his hand today, Jackson. Please. Scotland putting on a little flurry to finish this match. Back it goes. Substitute players all over the park as Dickinson. Oh, threw about two tackles and then gets his head taken off in a high tackle. Not the first we've seen from South Africa today. But going low by the clock, it should be the last. Here's Jackson. He's going to tap it and he's going to run it. He cuts back the other way with his attack. Got ball two and it's put a man in a lot of space. Eventually gets Release. taken down. Still not even in South Africa's 22. Keen on this ball, South Africa. Contesting every opportunity they get. Passes out. It goes to Taylor, who Release. has been very good today for Scotland Gray goes wide Taylor again this time to Luca oh good running line there on Release. the inside but unable to break the defense of South Africa here's Taylor about his third play in this Release. Uh, phase we have going here for the Scottish again Ladlaw goes wide for Jackson, who's hit hard and backwards from Vermeulen. South Africa trying to get in after him, but they can't turn it over. Ball retention, very good here from Scotland. Oh, but then they ruin it. Intercept ball for Boffa, and here comes Habana. He's going to put it onto his foot. Grubbers in field. This is a super chance for Habana. How many times do we see this from Habana? It's a hat trick for the legendary winger. And South Africa finish in style with the trademark grubber chase off the turnover intercept from Bucky's Botha, the biggest man on the paddock. And Habana, well, call him up for the football team. That was outstanding. He just smoked the defense and pace. He only, in fairness, had a couple of players chasing. Look like Seymour and Lamont. Probably a poor effort from those two. But South Africa have been very, very clinical down the left side. And it's proven that with all their tries coming down that way. To finish this match off. Lambie with the final say. 95 minutes gone. Hits this one 
rather poorly, relying on the wind just a bit too much. And it doesn't quite come round enough for him. The conversion is missed, but the final score will be South Africa 24-0 over Scotland and a very, very good display from the Springboks. Easily the second best team in the world right now. That is fair to say, and Scotland, well, they felt the full flurry of that today. Unable to put any points on the board, and in long periods were dominated. They had their fair chances, did Scotland, but they were just unable to crack the solid defence of South Africa. The full-time scorecard looks a little like this. Sad reading for Scotland, getting zero points at all. Plenty of chances, though, plenty of time in South Africa's 22 but unable to put the finishing touches down. As for South Africa, Habana, three tries for the outstanding superstar of world rugby, Brian Habana, three tries. And of course, Jean de Villiers with the first one right on half time to give four tries for South Africa. Lambie, not the best day with the boot, just two conversions for him. The full-time stats seeing a, uh, well, very dominant everything towards South Africa. The possession was fairly even at half time, but blowout big time. 66 for the South Africans, 68% of territory, and even a five plus phases down the bottom. High tackles were in their day, of course they got that yellow card, but the surprising thing is that they still made more tackles than Scotland, which says very poor things about the completion of tackles for the Scottish, falling off far too much for, I'm sure, the coaches liking. So that wraps up for today's match. The South African Springboks beating Scotland 24 to nil in our end of year tour match. That does us for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the match. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course hit that like if you like the series, love the video and want to see some more. We have plenty more end of year tour action coming up for you all. Of course, next we have and the next part will be 14th stop of the series will be Wales coming up against Tonga. So for you Welsh fans out there, stay tuned for that. The Tongans, of course, beating France last time they were out on the paddock. So stick around for that. And until next time, take care.